All right, what's good, Samsung lovers? Today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Samsung A71 5G. And this is uh, the upgraded version to uh, Android 12 with One UI 4.1. And let's get right to it. If you all are familiar with the Samsung A line of phones, then you know what to expect. Uh, this is the 5G version of the a71 and uh of course same aspect same rendition just uh with 5g got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack usb-c port speaker grill at the bottom volume keys on the side dedicated bigsby button and power button You got your 64 megapixel camera, 12 megapixel wide, and two 5 megapixel macro lenses. And uh, at the top, you got your mic port and your dedicated SIM tray and SD card. So I've been had this phone for less than a year. This is probably about the fifth or sixth month I've had the phone and it has been probably one of the best phones I've had I had the uh, A20 just gonna type in my code here for this phone I had the A20 and uh, I kept it for about two years and uh, it's been great but uh, this phone I'm just gonna show you a little bit of a difference in uh, Android 12 and Android 11. It, it hasn't been really any real big changes, but one noticeable change is uh, when you change the background of the phone, the colors of the UI sort of change to like reflect whatever color it is on your background. So this is a picture I took um, last summer at the park and um your backgrounds and uh icon tiles sort of reflect the color of whatever you take a picture of or whatever you set as a background um pretty much everything runs smoothly i haven't had any issues out of it it's like little to no lag with six gigs of ram i think this is like perfect for anybody who does not want to get an iPhone or cannot afford an iPhone. This is like a, a good um, secondary option. It is a, of the mid-range tier and probably, in my opinion, one of the best mid-range mid phones that is out for a Boost Mobile Carrier. But yeah, one of my favorite things to do on this phone is uh, watch videos. It is probably like the best part of the phone because you get up to 2K aspect ratio of videos, 2K and 4K videos. You can watch those on YouTube. Also, uh, music with the Adobe Atmos feature. You can watch... Uh, and listen to some of your favorite songs in the best quality. Uh, I would prefer that you have like a, a pair of headphones with a cord to use this to take advantage of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. But it is it is very common. Um, I'm just gonna give you a little, I guess, sneak peek. Or what you can get as far as in video. The second half, number zero in the Navy. Here he is in the corner. Little runner from about 17 feet. Right now, he drives the closeout. He goes off of one foot. That is a long. LeBron started his freshman year at 6'1. Of six course, one. You can zoom in. at 6'4. And Ronnie James has two. And pretty much he continues to cool aspect. I wish you could enjoy. There is no notch on the phone, of course. So. You'll get like full aspect ratio. You'll take advantage of all of that. 
when watching videos. Um, man, that's pretty much it. But this is this is running Android 12, like I, I can show you right now. And then there's no updates to the software, but just to give you a preview of what I mean, this is uh, Android 12. And this is the A71 5G. If there are any things that you want me to cover, I mean, it's, it's, this is not a, a brand new phone. This phone was released two years ago. So if you've seen other videos, then you know most of what you need to know. But if you just want to know a little bit more about Android 12, you can like, comment, and subscribe and just ask me as many questions as possible. Then I provide like full videos demonstrating everything you need to know about this phone. Uh, I don't, I'm not the one to try to upgrade as much as possible, but like I can give you an idea. Like this is a phone, like if you if you just don't want to upgrade to like anything new for like the next couple of years, this is like the perfect phone to have. And uh, as far as games, games run exceptionally well. I got a few that I have just sort of ran through not I haven't played uh Jensen Impact just yet. Uh, I was having issues with uh my connection but a lot of these games run very very great and uh, I can give you sort of a demonstration. <clears throat> like I ran this game Infinity Ops on high settings and it works like a charm. But Infinity Ops works good. It's like a fun game if you, you know, just want to play like a, a, a decent shooter. Yeah, so rarely do I get advertisements. Rarely do I get advertisements during the game. So basically, I just want to show you a quick preview of what to expect. Of course, all of these games come with in-app purchases. Like I don't think there's any game on the Android marketplace that does not require in-app purchases. <clears throat> So, very quickly, I'm gonna just run through this and just give you a demonstration. Um, it's hard to control with one hand, so I'm gonna just, just try to show you real quick. And then I'm gonna go through a few more. By the way, I have not, I have not experienced any form of lag. I have not experienced any form of lag on this game. It works very, very well. Reminds me a lot of some games you play on your favorite console. Obviously, that's a game that you need to have two hands if you really want to play that uh, at, at its full capacity or whatever. But it, it's decent. Um, you know, if I had to compare it, I really can't compare it to anything because I only played a handful of, like, mobile games. I'm not much of a mobile gamer, but I just feel like these are some games that sort of pass time. Uh, probably one of my favorites is this uh, Crash Bandicoot. 
So I'm just gonna give you guys a demonstration on that. <clears throat> And once again, this is the A71 5G. Um, it is not a notable, noticeably noticeable difference between the A71 uh, other than just the 5G itself. So you're pretty much gonna get everything in the same package on here, except for for uh, you know other than just LTE, you're gonna get 5G on this phone. So. Let me just run through this real quick. Like I said, this is a very fun game. If you got like kids that are like nagging, and you just want them to sit back and chill and try something while you're at the grocery store or just going around. As you can see, I am not good at this. <laughs> Yeah, that ain't, that ain't how we finna go out. I'ma uh, go ahead and try that one more time. Graphics are actually pretty good. Reminds me a lot of like, um, if I had to compare graphics to anything, I would say like it reminds me a lot of like a uh, the Wii U. I don't know if anybody ever played the Wii U or like PlayStation 3. That's what you can like compare the graphics to. That's not bad because um, it's a couple generations old, but for a cell phone, that's like a lot of graphic capability. And uh, I mean, you can compare this this Samsung phone to others like uh, the S20 FE. Like this phone goes head up with some of Samsung's more elite smartphones. I'm trying to take up too much time because I wouldn't say I'm on a time limit, but I do want to run through a few more things quickly. But yeah, the lag is a little bit different from uh, the cell phone that I'm using. But like I say, man, this is like a a good device if you just want to have something where you can probably do some some business or whatever. Like this is a very good phone for that. Um, I got quite a bit of apps on here. You know what I'm saying? Just your prototypical apps that somebody might need. But yeah, you can throw apps in the app drawer. Same old, same old. Nothing much. Once again, this is Android 12. Running over One UI 4.1. Once again, like, subscribe, comment, whatever topics you want me to cover, whatever you want me to talk about in the next video, you can leave a comment, you can inbox me, subscribe, all that in the back chips. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Look to see you soon.